For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are all going to die one day. And that's not it. Life does not end at the grave. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Death does not end the existence of man. Now, kitty cats and doggies and lions and tigers, that's it. They're gone. They're dead. They return back to the earth. There are no doggies and kitty cats in heaven. There are no lions and mice and whales in hell. Never mind saving the whales, get your soul saved. Because as far as human beings, a human being has three parts. He has a body. And you can see the body. That's flesh, bone, blood, eyeballs, nose, tongue. You put clothes on your body. You wash your body. You have a spirit that's in you, which is light. That breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale, and God breathed into man and he became a living spirit. And when you die, your spirit returns back to God. Whether you're saved or lost, when you die, that spirit returns back to God that spirit of inhaling, exhaling, belongs to God. And then the human being's third part is the soul. And the soul never dies. When your soul is conceived in your mother's womb, when your mother conceived you, she populated heaven or she populated hell when you were conceived. Every womb child will go to heaven or they will go to hell. The grave is not the end. When the doctor signs the death certificate, that's not the end. There is no end. There is an afterlife according to the Bible. And the afterlife according to the Bible is the fact that there is a heaven and there is a hell. And you get to heaven by Jesus Christ alone. And you go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. And that the reality is of a human being, there really is no death except our body. That the moment we exhale our last breath from our dying body, then we open our eyes to eternity. And we can open our eyes to Jesus Christ through faith and belief in Jesus. Or you can open your eyes to torment because you rejected Jesus Christ. There is no purgatory. There is no Valhalla. 
There are no virgins. There is heaven through Jesus Christ. And there is hell for rejecting Jesus Christ. The day that your mother conceived you in her womb, and every mother that conceives a child, that mother has populated heaven through Jesus or hell by rejecting Jesus. And there's no other option. There's no avoidance. And it's sorry that at the preaching of the Bible, that this preacher with the King James Bible has given you no excuse. We have been here for six years preaching the same Jesus, preaching the same gospel, and you have heard, and you cannot ever tell God I never knew I did not know God that Jesus saved and God will say what about that loud mouth preacher that you hated what about that loud mouth preacher that you called the police on What about that preacher you tried to stop? Why did you try to stop that preacher? Because you want an excuse to say, God, I didn't know. And God has sent the faithful preacher to preach the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the faithful preacher said to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And the faithful preacher said, keep your money. I don't want your money. I want you to put your faith and trust in Jesus. Many of you have heard that Jesus saved. Most of you have heard the gospel. And you will not ever be able to stand before God and say, God, I never knew. Now you may hear me at the judgment. Would it be interesting if God brings me up at your judgment? You say, well, God, I never knew. Well, bring up that preacher that you hated. We got all eternity. Play all his messages that he said to you. And when all the messages of the street preacher, of the farmer's market, is played before you that rejected Jesus, are you still going to be able to tell God, I never knew. No. You'll never be able to tell God you never knew. Because this preacher preaches Jesus. This preacher preaches out of a King James Bible. This preacher preaches the blood of Jesus Christ. This preacher preaches hell. And this preacher tells you, without the blood of Jesus Christ, without the faith of Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. That's according to the Bible. It's plain and simple that the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's what you do with Jesus. If you receive the Lord Jesus Christ by faith, God will receive you into heaven. 
If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, God will reject you. Eternal life rests upon what you do with Jesus. Take him by faith and belief and enter into heaven. Reject him and die in your sins and end up in a place called hell. It's your choice. You say, well, preacher, I'm going to purgatory. Well, listen, let me tell you, the popes keep closing it. One pope opens purgatory, another pope closes the purgatory, a pope opens purgatory, a pope closes the pur purgatory. There is no hope in the pope, only Jesus saves. How about that? The Pope doesn't even read the Bible. He don't want you to read the Bible. If a Catholic opens the Bible, they may believe. And they may see the sins of the church. I wouldn't put no trust in a man that you can't trust with altar boys. You can't trust them with altar boys. You better not trust them with your soul. Plain and simple. Put your faith and trust in the man, the man Christ Jesus. He's faithful. He's just. He's without sin. He's God. And Jesus Christ is not a religion. Jesus Christ is not Catholic. He's not Baptist. He's not charismatic. He is God the Savior. And when you get to heaven, you won't find Baptists. You won't find Catholics. You won't find Presbyterians. You'll find those that have been washed in the blood. You'll find those with the fine linen, which is the righteousness of the saints. There's no denominations in heaven. It's only those that have been washed in the precious blood of the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. No blood of Jesus, no heaven. Reject Jesus and be rejected yourself. Deny Jesus and Jesus will deny you. The wages of sin is death. Death is not the end. Death is only the beginning. When you close your eyes to this world, you will open them in heaven through Jesus or you will open them in hell by rejecting Jesus. And where you go when you die is where you will be for all eternity. You can have the perfect peace and perfect blessedness, the perfect mercy of God through Jesus, or you can be tormented, torments, and tormented. Because you chose to reject me. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And salvation is of God. And the very name of Jesus means Jehovah saves. Jesus does not mean go to church. Nor does it mean get baptized. Jesus means Jehovah saves. And God is not willing that any should perish. God sends preachers. God sends his people. He tells us to go in the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. Oh, sir. Yes. Uh, 
My name is Chandler. This is Josh. So, uh, how you doing? Sammy, Will. Uh, we're here on a summer mission just talking to people, uh, hearing about their beliefs. Uh, we heard you talking about the gospel. We were just wondering, like, uh, what your beliefs were. Uh, what is that story. Jesus Christ alone can save your soul. Anything else is hell. Nothing. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. The Bible says there is one mediator between God and man. If you don't have Jesus Christ, you go to hell. Ladies and simple. It's just like uh, your job or like a hobby. The Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. This is one this is one habit. This is this is called street preaching. Some people go knocking on doors. Some people pass out gospel tracts. Some people take an open, I mean, I, I do a lot of different things too. They'll take an open Bible and show their friends, co workers. This is just one of the avenues. Are you with the group or just like, you doing this? Well, actually, it's my family. We've been, we've been here at the farmer's market for six years. Oh, wow. And I come from Connecticut. I've been street preaching, I don't know how I've been. And since God's given us this ministry, open door, to do what we're doing. They fought a dozen of them. They called us when he got the cut. And this is the ground that God wants me to stand. Uh, we have vendors here that you know we see every week. Yeah. They're without excuse. But then we see brand new faces. As long as we see the brand new faces, what God does, I have no idea. But the Bible says, preach the word. I can't say it. Be faithful. Is that like a, like a cane? Yeah, it's my cane. Okay. I didn't. I thought. I thought I heard like you speaking through a microphone. I was trying to figure out where the. Yeah, I got. Oh, I see now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I got. I like, got to go over the music. Just a little gotcha. bit over yeah. the music. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You got the devil and you got God. <laughs> <laughs> and they're hired to be against. Them. Every time they get a new DJ, they'll come up. Well, I'm here to put you down. I've been here for six years, so. Uh huh. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. <laughs> I mean, I'm here as long as God wants me here. If he's done with his ministry, he's going to back it up. I, I had a couple of ministries where they weren't God's with son. Back it up and go. But, like I said, we see new faces. We get gospel tracks out. And I'm sure the Lord's blessing. Yeah, it's actually what we're all doing We're all part of a campus ministry at our different colleges across the country. Yeah. We're all brothers. We're group, so we are all in Daytona. We go on the beach and start conversations with people and share the gospel with them. So. Yeah. It is. I mean, Jesus said, pray for the Lord to send the harvest. And Mark chapter 4, it says, it says the sower went out and sold the seed. He didn't tell you how he did it. He just <laughs> put it everywhere, you know? Yeah. And that's that's how we all do it. Everybody's got their own little. And the most important thing you got to do is you got to pray. There's some people who can't do what, I mean, they can't walk. The best thing they can do for us is pray. That's the weapon. Pray before you go out. Pray while you're doing what you're doing. And you pray after you do what you're doing. I mean, the most important thing is about when you're witnessing in prayer. Think about, I mean, Jesus is God, right? Didn't he pray? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't he tell people? <laughs> and you get Christians, well, I can't tell people. I, I, I can't. Your Savior did it. If he did it, he set our example. And I get people come up to me all the time. Well, you, you know, you, you're driving people away. This is Jeremiah, Jesus, Paul did what we did. You know? And then, like you said, you go to the beach and all that, you went. When you're finished with your, your ministry, okay, don't you feel like you entered the pages of the Bible? Don't you feel like, you know, I've read this somewhere. Did I read about this in the Bible? That they hated Jesus, they hated me, you know? Because you're doing what the Bible tells you. And sorry that many Christians do not. And you're going to get rewards. Now, I don't know what happens in heaven. But there's going to be some Christians that are not going to get no crowns. They're going to do nothing. When it comes time to cast in crowns, you're not going to have it. 
and like the world today, they'll give you a trophy just because. God ain't going to give you a trophy just because. You know? I don't know how it's going to be in heaven if you can't cast it down. I mean, there's no envy, there's no sin, but when it comes time, I want to hear the Lord say to me, well done. Forget the faithful servant. I just want to hear, well done. I'll be satisfied and content. Well done. That's what we need to do. There's no ministry. I mean, it's a proper ministry. Because, I mean, there are people who do it wrong. There are people who speak preach, and they do it wrong. You see a woman in a mini skirt or a cigarette. No, 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 no. no. Just preach the gospel. Preach hell. You can preach about sins, but don't be general. And when you go out witnessing, telling people about the Bible, be general. You're going to be on attack. Like a, there's something like today, people say, well, you know, what's the Bible say about Sod? Okay. What's the Bible say about lying? Everybody lies. What's the Bible say about honoring your parents? Forget about that sin. Why do we always kind of look at it's like, how do, you, how do you honor your parents? The Bible says, honor thy mother and father. Let's talk about that sin. You're the most perfect child. All right, forget about the sodomy. Let's look at sin in Genesis. Devil wants to battle you. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. All sin. God never says no. Can I answer your question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. I was wondering what your uh, shirt said. I couldn't read it totally. Well, I got a couple of this one. It's all about Jesus. Live here in Daytona? Yes. Okay. okay. Sorry. Is it, what is this exactly? Is this just like a. This is supposed to be a farmer's market. Oh, okay. 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 I know it do not look like it, but. <laughs> there are people that come here, so I mean. Yeah. It's very dead. But like I said, we see new cases. Yeah. They blame me, of course. Yeah. It ain't me. It's, it's, it's a wonderful break. There's nobody here, but that's who I preach. I'll preach no matter what. I've had I've had where there's been no people, so you never know what the Lord's going to do. But this is supposed to be a farmer's market. Yeah. Look around, there's not much. <laughs> Which direction should we go today? Yeah, do you have any recommendation on where should we go? We were trying to uh, reach home. See, one of the biggest problems here at Daytona Beach is nothing know what's going on. By the time something goes on, you're right in the middle of it. Yeah. Um, it's a bit to be. I don't know if there's anything going on at the ballpark over there. we got cars racing around at the track, but as far as we're in the dark, we just don't know sometimes what's going on. Yeah. But being a nice hot day today, probably the most easy at the beach. Yeah. They got little little areas on the beach. You don't have to go rest. They got little parks along the beach down there. Yeah. Parks and benches and all that. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Yeah, we've done mainly beach outreach, but uh, we were expanding our horizons. Yeah. Yes. Not much down there. Yeah. Not much. Yeah. I'm trying to find a second ministry down here. I think after six years, I think I found another one. Just talking with my lawyers and all that, make sure it's good and all that. But really, not much down here. Uh huh. That's Daytona. You got to find where there's a lot of people. Yeah. Right? You can't do it at Walmart. I tried. They kick you out. That's where all the people are. <laughs> But as far as Daytona, and up, uh, the only thing is really the, the beaches and, like I said, the special events that go on down there. Well, yes, well, uh, go some way. Yeah, we need sure to strategize. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you can try the ballpark over here, but I don't, I don't know if there's anything going on. Yeah. Yet. Um, I know tomorrow we're planning on going to put the boardwalk area and yeah, see if people are still up there. That's where a lot of
lot of, a lot of churches go that way. It's only really main place, Ocean Walk. Yeah. Not many places down here. What did you say your name was? Styling. Styling? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. Chandler, what is your name? Rachel. Rachel? Nice to meet you, Chandler. Rachel, I'm Chandler, sorry. <laughs> um, I think I have to also think right here is to go to the boat launch. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Of, I mean, I don't know what you can do between the guys getting their boats in and out. But one thing they can do is get the boat out, get the boat out to, to run from you. Other than that, I've tried down here. And it's not very good fertile ground down here. I mean, Daytona Beach is focused upon booze, alcohol, parties, and all that. Very dead ground. Yeah. Before we head out, do you mind if we just pray for you real quick? Sure, no problem. Uh, Lord, we thank you uh, just for this opportunity we had to be in Daytona today um, and just happen to meet our friends here. Um, I just pray that you bless their ministry in Daytona, um, that even as we leave Daytona this week, that we know they're here, they're preaching your word. Um, just help them to continue to preach truth and preach your gospel and just help people to respond to that um, and just come to know you and the love you have, God. Amen. 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 Uh, Daytona Beach is it's only when uh, okay, cool. our event is okay, cool. going Thank on. You. Stay away from spring break. <laughs> I get pretty Even disgusted. Memorial Day was pretty crazy. Bikers yeah. are pretty nice. The Bikers Week, I mean, they're not the raunchy people. We, I mean, if you go to the right areas. Yeah, yeah. With the bike, many of the bikers, uh, you can stop and carry great conversations with them. Uh -huh. But you got to know where to go. Yeah. I mean, there's areas where they're different. Don't go to Ormond Beach. Or well, like down Main Street is where we go. And you, you can stay. They'll talk to you. They'll carry great conversations with you. If you can find that one, I don't know. Um, the race week. They're yeah. pretty good. I know that brings lots of people to <laughs> Well, this is COVID-19. No, not really. Oh, but, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, stay away from spring break. Yeah. Um, Ocean Walk, again, they got special events. I don't know right now, COVID-19. Yeah. But when we were down there, Ocean Walk, they would have worldwide events. We meet people from all over the world. We sit in a chair, and countries came to us. <laughs> you know? That's just amazing what God can do. It. But I like your zeal for going out, but you're in... You're in the desert right now. Yeah. We've had some really good conversations with people out on the yeah. beach over the past like two Yeah, you'll find it. It's so. just, I mean, I know you want to broaden your section down yeah. there. like, don't try Walmart. Don't try Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have. All right. Where should we go with this? I say we go back. Yeah, let's go back. Well, you guys have a good day now. Have a good rest of the day. You too, man.